Hey, Ed, I would like to talk to you today about tone control capacitors. Okay. People uh, often ask us, what's the best value for the tone control capacitor? So I'd like to dig into that. Okay. So let's start off by talking about capacitors, and maybe you can explain briefly what exactly a capacitor is. A capacitor is an electrical component that stores electricity, and we can use it as a filter or as a, even a battery. It's pretty versatile. Okay. So it's, it's in fact, I think you mentioned to me once that you could even make your own capacitor if you wanted to. Yeah. If you roll tin foil strips with paper or cardboard, you can make your own capacitor. Okay. Uh, I have a funny feeling if I took t- paper and tin foil and rolled it up and put it on my guitar, probably yeah. wouldn't sound as good as one I could buy on Amazon from Stu Mac, right? No, no, it'd be <laughs> huge, too, <they're> pretty big. <laughs> But the thing about the capacitor is that 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 actually is the only structural difference between a volume control and a tone control, right? It's just that a tone control has a capacitor and it's wired a little bit differently. Yep, they're both the same pots, just the one has the capacitor. And what exactly are the two types of capacitor you would find in most guitars? The most common one is a ceramic disc and the other kind is a, a... Mylar polyfilm. All right. So I'm going to put up image number one on the screen. So image number one is the ceramic disc capacitor. And yeah. image number two is the Mylar polyfilm capacitor. Right. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about tolerance. That's a word that comes up often when you and I have discussions about different electrical components as far as um, what the difference in quality might be from one to the other. So please explain exactly what tolerance is. Well, tolerance means how much, how close to the stated value an electrical component is. It, uh, f- not just for capacitors, there's tolerance on resistance and a lot mm-hmm. of other components. But if they're, you know, 5% tolerance means it has to be within 5% of the stated value. So, and I think 5% is, or anything lower than that is, con- is considered good. Right. 5% is most common. Uh, capacitor with a 1% tolerance would be pretty expensive. In fact, that's that's the thing. It's interesting is it's almost counterintuitive is that you might think a higher tolerance is a good thing just because it's a higher number, but it's actually the opposite. A higher tolerance is bad. You don't want that. A lower tolerance is good. Right. Well, you could find capacitors with a 20% tolerance, but it could be as much as 20% away from the stated value. Right. Right. Okay. So that, that wouldn't be too good. No, no. I mean, it's two capacitors with the same value would sound completely different to a guitar. Right. Exactly. That makes sense. So as far as the actual capacitor values, what do they mean? For example, how does a higher capacity, higher value capacitor differ from a lower value capacitor? A higher value capacitor will have a warmer sound. Lower value capacitors have a brighter tone. Got it. So being more specific, what are what's a typical value that you would recommend someone start with if they're just not sure where to start at all? A lot of the modern guitars now have a 0 to 2 microfarad value. Mm-hmm. and uh, But the vintage guitars, they were had a warmer sound and they had a 0, 4, 7 value. Okay. Um, and I think values such as like 0. 0.1 or 0. 0.033, those are a little bit less common. Is that correct? Yeah. You could get any value, but those are the most common. And when someone is has just changed the value of their, put a different capacitor for the tone control, and they're testing it, they're turning their tone control on their guitar up and down, what do you recommend they listen for to, to, to determine, hey, is this working for me? Well, if you turn your tone control down and your guitar, guitar gets warm too fast, then your value is too high, you want to reduce the value. Okay. So, and if it, and also, if it, a lot of times, You'll notice, especially if you're playing a vintage guitar, you, as soon as you touch the tone control, it gets really warm. The lower value will give you, a, let you turn it a little more before it gets too warm. Okay, so one other thing to consider is is the travel, is the is the is whether it gets just really dark really fast, or whether it kind of gradually gets darker. 
Exactly. Yeah. And it's it seems to me that it's it's what makes this whole conversation so difficult is that while yes, these capacitor values will have a, a noticeable effect on your tone controls performance. Um, there's lots of other things. There's your amp, your pedals, your pickups, the length of your cable. All these things together will affect this your tone. Exactly. That's why it's best to listen instead of just, you know, looking up values on the internet or something, because mm -hmm. your system is going to sound different than someone else's. And that's going to affect the value you choose for your capacitor. So um, just to give some people some guidelines to start with, if someone starts with a 0 0.022 microfarad capacitor and they say, okay, it's too dark, what would be the next value you recommend they try? If it was too dark, then you know, the 0 0.1 would brighten it up. Okay. And if somebody tries the 0 point, 0 0.022 microfarad and they say, oh, it's too bright, what would be a value you'd recommend they just try? Well, I would probably go to the 033. It's not as dark as the vintage 047, but it's still going to warm up your tone a little bit. Okay. And uh, the other suggestion that you had made to me in the past was that people keep in mind that the capacitor, what you hear is not what goes through the capacitor. What you hear coming out of your amp is what does not go through the capacitor. Is that correct? Yeah. A lot of people spend a lot of money on this capacitor and it filters the sound to ground. You never hear it. You only hear what's left. Right. Okay. Which is sort of, at first you might think that what you're hearing is going to the capacitor, but you're hearing, what you're hearing is what's filtered out. Right. Exactly. Okay. Um, this is a topic that seems endlessly debated and people get pretty heated about it, but it they helps. Do. It helps to get some specific values that people can maybe start with. And the, but at the end of the day, they're going to have to experiment and try different things and see what works best for them. Once you add in the pedals and the amp and the pickups and everything. Exactly. That's what, that's what will work best. Listen well, for yourself. Well, thank you for, uh, for all of your help on this topic, Ed. I really appreciate no it. Yeah, no problem.